people who work at a drive through window. What are some things that you've overheard on the headset that customers don't know you heard? Submitted by Agent TCOOL. We had ran out of salads and I was taking a drive through order. The dude said one second please and called his momus here they get into a three minutes argument where I recall him saying, I'm not gonna drive all around the city for a fucking salad mom. Quote. One time these three guys who were stoned out of their minds came through. It took like a full five minutes to get through the order because they couldn't stop laughing. Also, the guy was ordering Whoppers and I don't work at Burger King. Then at the window, they had to change a bunch of the order and he was still saying Whoppers. I told him we don't serve Whoppers and they all started laughing again. When I was working a drive through window I was more worried that the customer would overhear what I was saying about Themis here one time I called a guy an idiot under my breath. Wasn't holding down the talk button. And he pulled up to the window to pay and it was my pastor. Worked at a McDonald's. Most memorable one was a woman who got a call after she placed an order and burst out crying. Person in her passenger side asks, What's wrong? Quote. She responds, Window still down. My dad just died. Taking her payment was extremely uncomfortable. Kind of a backwards example, but one time I was having a tough day and my roommate and I went to grab food from this local diner's drive through She wanted to get food from somewhere else so I just got a burger and fries. After a bunch of driving around she finally decided she wanted food from there. So we went back, and I got a shake and she got fries. And then after we'd already ordered her, I said to her how I honestly wanted more fries but one. I shouldn't spend any more money and two. We'd already finished the order. And three. The drive through guy was gonna hardcore judge me. Especially since we'd already been through the drive through in the last 30 minutes. When we pulled up to the window. The guy gave us our food and then gave me some fries. Said. No judgment. It's on the house, and winked at me. It was super nice but also I died of embarrassment and that was the day I learned they can hear you. Even when you don't think they can. A girl's orgasm is your late teens, early 20s girl and her boyfriend were coming through McDonald's. Drive through. Apparently, she was enjoying a bit of manual magic from her boyfriend under the blanket while waiting to order. On a busy night. She was very flushed when they got to the window. No shame at all. So many parents yelling at their kids to make up their minds. Also once had a guy ask for jalapeno s on his sandwich. I started laughing. And he got super mad and demanded to talk to my manager. Edit. I feel like I should clarify. Jalapeno man was an old redneck in the middle of Missouri. So it was funny not only because of the pronunciation but because of the southern, midwest accent. I also didn't mean to laugh at him. Both me and my co-worker forgot our headsets were on. My co-worker said it the same way he did and I laughed. And when he pulled up to the window, that is when he asked to see our manager. A KFC in the town over had someone selling weed through the drive through his customers would ask for extra biscuits with their order, and he would put the weed in the bag. A soccer mom one day went through, had about five kids with her. She orders extra biscuits for theme this year. That guy was fired pretty quickly. Made the evening news, too. Was taking an order for a college-aged couple. They ordered a couple happy meals. After I told them their total, I heard the girl yell excitedly. We're getting toys. And they pull up and she has the biggest genuine excited grin on her face. Honestly made my day. It was super cute. I'm hungry and horny. I said. Well, we can help with the first. You are on your own for the second one. He took it in stride. And was still laughing when he got to the window. A couple had a full unboxing match at the speaker. I just said, let me know when you're ready to order as I heard the punches land on each other's 
faces while they yelled at each other. Then the lady yelled, I wish you were dead, and the guy laughed manically. Then they ordered like they didn't just go Rocky versus Drago. I was working drive and I had a customer pull up to the speaker and then order. Then afterwards she didn't pull up to the window. And I can still hear what she says even though I'm not taking her order. She then started having a loud phone conversation and started talking about how was cheating on her boyfriend. I gave her a little time and then said, you can pull up ma'am. There were two homeless people fighting in the parking lot. Some guy rolled up to the speaker with two kids in the back and I hear him say, Do you guys want to watch them fight? Okay, I'll go through and get the food you guys stay here. I was watching on the security camera as this man lets out two kids around six and eight years old so they could stand by the dumpster and watch two drunk guys beat the crap out of each other with bricks. We have a camera at ours and it's right there so it's hard not to see. But still I get to see parents smack their children. Couples arguing. The nasty, nasty faces you make at me. The arm gestures of how fucking stupid are you when I ask if they want cream and sugar in their coffee BC I'm supposed to know you want 13 and 9 in a medium. The worst is dumping garbage right in front of the camera. Ugh. I feel like I don't hear a lot of crazy stuff but see a lot. I see people's cars filled to the top with garbage. This old lady came through with blood all over her sleeve. Crazy stuff lol. Most if not all of Starbucks drive throughs have a camera. So we can see you. We can see when you flip us off. We can see when you're doing something you shouldn't be. We can see the faces and hateful glares you make. And more importantly we can see when you and your so are for some reason trying to get it on in the DT lane. Like y'all can't wait and pull into the parking lot for that? When I worked at McDick's a lady pulled up and started saying how she hates coming here because the drive though person is always an idiot and never gets her order right. And how McDonald's only hires idiots. I greeted her with hello ma'am. Sorry for your past experiences but not all of us are idiots. And in fact we all can hear you on the headsets as soon as you pull up. She drove off. Most costumers don't realize that everyone at work can hear the conversations in the drive through We sell Angus burgers at Newark. A costumer once ordered an anus burger in the drive through And the entire staff was in tears laughing at the poor guy heard someone give their personal info, date of birth, social security number, payment information, over the phone. Opposite thing here, but still a good story. And hash x200b. I was working the window while a friend was on the headset. I kept messing with him all night while he was taking orders. He started to get frustrated while still laughing. And hash x200b. A few hours later, a lady was in the middle of her order when I said something to him as sure he didn't realize he still had his mic on and yelled, Would you just a shut the asterisk asterisk fuck asterisk asterisk up? Quote, and hash x200b. The lady said, Oh my goodness. Excuse me? Quote, he just kept apologizing profusely. But back then it was the most hilarious thing to teens. A girl was in the middle of ordering when her boyfriend called her. He was breaking up with her as well as confessing he had been cheating on her. Her car put the call through the speakers. I couldn't comp her order but I did tell the person at the other window to give her a free ice cream of her choosing. I'm surprised she didn't just pull out of line. Worked at McDee's for three years. Funniest I'd heard was a guy asking the passenger what he could get for a Big Mac. There's s legit hooker in my town who does discount apparently for fast food. Worst. Had to listen to a women list off STDs her doctor told her she had and what treatments to get. Literally begged the grill team to hurry and move the line. I used to be a drive through bank teller and this woman dropped $100 bill from her withdrawal envelope inside her car. She accused me of stealing. 
and while I rechecked my drawer, she called me a racial slur that came to her country to steal from Americans BC she taught the microphone was off. My manager overheard the well interaction. Well, by time the woman came into the bank screaming, her younger son came running after her BC he found the bill underneath the driver's seat. My manager closed her bank account and told her to not come back. What? They can still hear me? Question mark. Question mark. One time we had a person sit in the lane for seven minutes having an argument with the other person. In the car over their divorce. On top of that, there's conversations about deadbeat baby daddies and whatnot. Stuff can get weird. Several times we'd hear someone speaking in a different language for a few moments. Which is annoying as a drive through worker. In any language the timer starts the second a car pulls up to the speaker. No matter how long the customer takes to order. And then finally, after a minute or two, we'd hear a child's voice finally start ordering in English. A lot of parents hadn't learned English well enough to feel confident ordering food so they'd have their kids do it. This could be difficult depending on the age of the child. But I always admired it. Wasn't working at a drive through and didn't overhear anything. But my job sat right behind a Jimmy John's and I liked to watch the cars pulling through while I smoked a cigarette. One day I watched a lady, in broad daylight mind you, pull up to a small tree that sat not far from the drive through intercom of this place and start ordering. Man, that was a good day. Edit. Wording. When I was in high school, I worked at a fast food place at night. It was about two minutes before closing and two guys came through the drive through super drunk. We were out of something they wanted. So the guy tells his friend that I'm a cunt and that he's going to go in and rape me until he gets his food. My friend was also working that night. She didn't tell me until later. But she had picked all the veggies for his burger out of the bottom of the garbage bin where we had just thrown a bunch of expired meat, plus hours worth of other gross stuff. I don't really believe in messing with people's food. But fuck that guy. I still thank my friend to this day. Used to work at a McDonald's. Over here's a woman verbally abusing the passenger who was a male. It was definitely odd to overhear and made even less sense to my 16-year-old brain because socially, women are never seen as aggressors and it was just a shock. My mom calls the drive through people stupid all the time once they stop talking. And I hope they always hear me remind her that they make her food.